guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought i would do something a little bit differently i'm getting ready to go to dinner i mean i'm ready now but i thought we would do kind of a my signature virtual shopping is always i show you guys i'm sitting on the computer and we're scrolling through the websites together but i thought i would kind of do it in a get ready with me style where i'm doing my makeup and I'm also talking about it. So please, please, please give me feedback. If you prefer me just going on the computer, that would be fine. And the sun is literally about to set and I feel like I barely made it. So next time when I try this, I'm definitely gonna do it in the morning instead of right before I leave to go get dinner. So if you guys would be interested in seeing the new bags that I've been seeing that I really, really like, then let's just get started. Let's go to my bare face. Okay, let's try to do this before the sun officially sets. So the first bag that I wanted to talk about is actually from Loewe and I saw this online about I think two maybe three weeks ago and then I was able to see this bag in person but I didn't try this bag on and it is the Loewe mini camera bag. It's in satin calfskin and it's $1,250. The first thing that got me when I saw this bag was the color of the bag. This, this is literally quintessential cerulean blue. If you don't know what cerulean blue is, that, like this is it i think this bag is super cute i feel like i love that this bag is very unisex as well it's feminine but at the same time it could be super masculine not super masculine but like i could see a guy wearing this and literally not think anything i think this is a truly unisex bag i love that the strap on this bag is like kind of those jacquard fabric straps the way they have been doing that a lot with a few of their bags i know that this bag is also available in a black color i feel i think they only have two colors right now but i think they're probably just testing out the waters to see how popular this bag is and then after that they might come out with more colors i love that there's a top handle and in general camera bags if you guys didn't know do usually have two zips and this shade i swear to you this is like my perfect shade i'm very pale right now like my neck and my chest are very pale and almost all of my foundations i have to <laughs> they're too dark <laughs> so i have to mix my tanner foundations with my most pale ones and i actually really love that it says the luebe on the side of this bag as well i don't know if some people might think that branding might be a little bit too loud for luebe but i actually really really like it next time i go to luebe i'm gonna try this bag on and i'll film it for you guys just so you guys can see it because the bag does say it's a mini camera bag so how small it is we shall find out Alrighty, so the next bag is actually from Prada and I didn't, you guys might know this already but I actually was not aware that Prada had this line. So you guys know that Prada is famous for their nylon and they're famous for their Safiano leather which is very similar to kind of like epi leather. If you like really like hard firm leather, you would really like epi and Safiano leather. I just found out that they just came out with Napa leather. So Fendi, like their baguettes are super popular for the Napa leather and this for the Pradas, it makes it look kind of puffy and at first at first i didn't know how i felt i wouldn't say i disliked it but i think i still preferred the safiano leather so they have this available in their 2005 re-edition they have this color called mango but it's green i feel like it's giving me kind of like a thai green papaya salad type of green when i think of mango they have this in a couple different colors as well again i do want to touch this in person i want to kind of compare it to see how soft it is compared to Fendi and I know some Lueve bags use Napa leather as well from what my SA from Lueve has told me so I really want to see how soft it is compared but I really do like the green color so my favorite bags with the Napa leather is actually this kind of small little tote I forgot exactly the name of it but this is what it looks like and I think this is so freaking cute I really like the green one has to be my favorite because you guys know I freaking love green so they have this in a lot of different colors they have this in pink they have this in green and I don't know I just really 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 love the way it looks I think it's so cute they do have this available in three different sizes as well they have the small one the medium size and the large one i feel like the large one would be a good like travel or work bag but the small one like if i were to pick one it would for sure be the small one i do think it's kind of pricey considering it is a small bag i mean it's not a mini bag when you see it with the pictures of the model holding it it is for sure not a mini bag but it is smaller i like that there's a couple different compartments as well so it's not just kind of one slot they have a couple side pockets i definitely want to try this bag on what i actually really really did not expect when i first saw pictures is that this bag does come with a strap which i think is super cute the strap is 
thin and the strap is also detachable which i think is awesome you guys know that i do still want to add a, a mini 2000 but honestly this is like really catching my interest alrighty so the next bag i actually saw the last time i was at nordstrom and i walked by bottegas because a lot of nordstroms do have bottega and i saw in the display i literally walked away and you guys know how i feel about the paddock cassette you guys know and i noticed i was like it do my eyes deceive me why does this look so small and then i don't know how new this is because i'm not constantly checking up on bottega but they have a small padded cassette now and i used to think that the padded like i would never get into the padded cassette just because when i would touch it the texture of it wasn't what i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to feel like the chanel 19 type of puffiness or the ysl puffer type of puffiness but it ended up feeling very like foamy and rubbery and fake and then i saw this small one and i thought it was so cute like i honestly did not expect to like it as much as i did and it's literally the size of my hand i took some footage of it i don't know how clear it is so i'm gonna put it right here but it was so freaking cute oh my gosh the sun is setting i gotta go quick <laughs> okay they do have this of course in a different colors and i never thought that i would be interested in buying the padded cassette but this was actually really cute unfortunately i wasn't able to try the bag on just because i was kind of in a hurry uh i had an appointment with my sa and i was running late as per usual i thought that was super cute so the new mini cassette is called the candy cassette now and then they actually have a padded cassette of the candy cassette and i thought that was so adorable i don't know if it would fit the same amount as the normal mini cassette because obviously i have heard that in the padded cassette you can't fit as much because obviously it's padded it takes up more space but i would love 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 to try on the mini padded cassette or the candy padded cassette if you guys own that one or tried it on let me know if it's pretty much the same what you guys think but i thought it was so adorable i've always wondered why they never made a padded candy cassette before just because i feel like the padded if anything was more popular than the regular one because the padded one definitely had its moment on social media but they have tons of different colors oh it's just so freaking cute and update so i was able to try on on my last what's new video i did mention this bottega shoulder bag with the heart the knotted hardware on the side which on the images looked so freaking adorable so so freaking adorable but then i tried it on and one of you guys i forgot who made the comment but one of you guys told me that you tried it on and it felt like paper thin and you didn't like how the inside was canvas so i went to go try it on and i totally agree with you even though it does have the hardware on it it does feel very light and not cheap but it's just it felt very thin that's what you said is that it felt very paper thin i 100 percent agree with you it did feel very light it was just very underwhelming i think it just looks cuter to look at but to actually wear the bag it wasn't it wasn't what we thought it was going to be you know but at least we were able to try it okay so the next bag is pretty new as well i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it if you guys follow a lot of luxury accounts so it is a new goyard style it's called the bohem or the bohem bag there's no accent on these so i don't know but it's basically goyard's hobo tote bag essentially i actually really really like this i'm gonna be going to paris so i if i'm able to go to the goyard store if we do have time because i think we're only gonna have like a couple hours to shop then i'm gonna try to see this in person the next time i go to beverly hills i definitely do want to try this bag on as well i'm sorry if you guys can hear that sound it's the laundry i chose to multitask at literally the worst time i was like oh i'm gonna film a video and i'm also gonna do laundry so i'm so so sorry about that but this they have in different colors if they came out this in the pink size because i really want the mini anju in the pink but i guess pink might be too bright for this this would oh, i just love this they they basically have this in every single color and it's superb i love it if you haven't checked it out already look it up i'm just going to insert a bunch of pictures right here but i love it i don't know how much it is i'm assuming it's probably around no i would say it's about 2500 because the saint louis tote i believe is like 1700 like 1650 or something like that Alrighty, so the next bag i didn't think that i was gonna like it and then i love it not saying i'm gonna buy it but if one of you guys buy it i'm gonna be so happy for both of us so it is a new chanel their spring and summer 2023 collection it is their small hobo bag especially in this green color i'm utterly obsessed with honestly any of the colors i think is so freaking cute but this green color it's like literally the definition of emerald if emerald was a bag this would be it it's like this bright 
emeralds what i love about this bag is that the zipper like all the little details on this bag is so cute the zipper is cc and then on one of the hoop sides it has the cc on the edge which i think is so freaking cute and i love that the strap is a chain because i feel like if the strap was just like leather or if it said cc or something i wouldn't like it as much but i love that the hobo disc and then it has the chanel chain on it like just quintessential chanel which i love and adore i think the black one is very very popular but they have this in the beige which is like such a like such a Mm, such a delicious delicious shade of beige as well this is really hard to like talking to my makeup i'm not gonna lie to you the price for this is like 4500 see i want to say like that's expensive but this is chanel so 4500 for a chanel bag isn't expensive but 4500 dollars for a bag period is expensive i've not lost sight of that okay it is expensive so if any of you guys are thinking of getting this one please let me know i'd be so interested i know that the mini one was so popular i think amelia what is her last name you guys know her amelia i want to show her clip she bought this the mini one was like super super hard to get at one time i think like maybe two months ago or so the mini one was so popular i think cassie thorpe was even looking at getting it i'm not 100 percent sure or does she have this no i don't think she has this but i think she really really liked it as well that one i didn't like so much only in terms of practicality looking at it i thought it was really cute but because it was so stiff it was very much a evening nighttime bag can barely put anything in it but that's not even a gripe it's really because you have to hold it like this it would just be too much but this looks so so user-friendly if they bumped it up a size or made it a little lower i still think it would be fab Alrighty, so the final bag is actually just a couple bags so one of them is that louis vuitton did come out with a new collection i don't know how new because i'm not that up to date with louis vuitton anymore but i do check in from time to time and you guys know that they have their on prompt line like the black the taupe and the cream is really popular so i think for valentine Valentine's Day they came out with pink and the cream color which I mean I don't hate it but I'm also not a really big fan of the taupe and cream it's not that it's ugly I just I don't know it's it's just kind of okay to me in theory it was really nice and it was really cute but I still kind of just have the same feeling I'm like oh that's cute you know for Valentine's Day but not cute enough that I would want to buy it however Louis Vuitton did just come out with this pink vernis beady which was so so freaking adorable oh my word it's so cute in general vernis is like more expensive than canvas that's not a shocker so the price is a little bit much for a tiny bag but i think it's more because it's a collectible it does have that little like acrylic heart on the side which i think is really really cute as well honestly recently this is such a side topic really quick since we're talking about speedies is you guys know that i have a nano speedy and you guys know what the hl is i'm honestly and a lot of people i've been watching so many review videos a lot of people have been comparing the new speedy 20 to the or the new nano speedy i'm gonna put the correct as uh, I, I forgot exactly i'm mixing it up the newest tiniest speedy that louis vuitton carries because they discontinued the one that i have right now is more similar to the old vintage speedy hl and i love that i feel like it would be so redundant for me to have both but then at the same time as like a collector i kind of want both because one definitely the one that i have right now i feel like i can fit more stuff in it yes the strap isn't adjustable and i feel like it truly is a nano speedy because speedies in general are kind of you know rounded and taller whereas the hl is longer and shorter but i just love that it's longer and shorter i think the vibe and the aesthetic of it is different enough that i kind of want to buy it so if any of you guys own both can one of you guys just tell me which one you like more because if you tell me that the new speedy you have the old speedy and you have the new speedy and it's worth having both then honestly i might be tempted truly 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 and especially with how like a lot of people are pretty fed up with louis vuitton's prices it might not be that hard to get either so there's that this is usually how i finish up all my looks it's so funny that 
Rihanna played in the Super Bowl and everyone's buying Fenty makeup and stuff but I remember when this first came out I remember exactly I watched a Nikki tutorials video and um, Priscilla Ono was using this on her and that's what sealed me to buy it and then a lot of people say that this is so glittery on the cheeks I never ever use this on my cheeks ever 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 but I always use this on my eyes anytime I go to like a restaurant or something I always get asked what type of glitter is on my eyes and it's always this so if you want something light not too strong or aggressive but still subtle enough that people notice it this this is the one this is the one it's literally just bronzer and this and you're set but yes so that is my everyday makeup it's very simple very quick obviously i do have a going out makeup maybe i'll do that for a future one let me know down in the comments but my makeup changes all the time and i personally love watching people just apply makeup especially blush and foundation is weirdly satisfying for me to watch somebody apply if you guys prefer me to just do it on the computer that's totally fine i was just kind of playing with ideas to kind of multitask and kind of change like the viewing and stuff like that if you guys own any of the bags that i mentioned or you're thinking of getting any of the bags that i mentioned as well my personal favorite out of all of these ones honestly it's the chanel hobo bag not to purchase for myself but just looking at it the small hobo from chanel but in terms of out of these bags which one i would lean to actually buy for sure the goyard bohem bag that one is like Ooh, that looks like a bag that you're gonna use every single day, which I love, love, love. Alrighty, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!